than two to one over Atari and in television for real arcade gameplay. Fantastic! Presenting the revolutionary Vectrex arcade system. Ordinary home video games can't match the laser-sharp visual effects of Vectrex because only Vectrex has a real arcade screen built in. No TV set needed, so every Vectrex cartridge gives you real arcade gameplay that others can't. Vectrex, it stands alone. Well, hello everybody. Hope everybody's well tonight. Good evening, Andy. Hi, stream man. I can see you in the chat. If you could just confirm that the sound's okay on the audio for talking, if you don't mind. I haven't tweaked anything since last time we used it, so hopefully it should be okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm a bit quiet. Because I'm a wee mousey. Is that any better? Is that coming through okay? I've put it up a bit. Just don't want to make it too loud. Don't want to hear my Gerari tones. How are we all this evening? Are we all fine? Have we had a good day? Excellent. Well, tonight I'm going to look at the Vectrex, obviously from the advert that you saw. It's a system that I've seen advertised a lot as a child, but I never had it. Um, I think it fascinated me because it came with a screen. It came with its own screen. It was like an all-in-one. You've got a new house, mate. Is it a turtle, by any chance? Oh, I know who it is. Is it doing the pot? <laughs> this friend has bought an Alexa today. One of the new ones, what I look like a ball. So, I suppose just before we start, we'll have a quick look at the facts for the Vectrex. So, it was uh, it came out in 1982 in North America, then in uh, Europe and Japan in 83, so about a year later. It's a ROM cartridge based system. You could hook two controls up for it. I don't know if it came with two, I think it came with one, which slotted under the telly, but you could actually obviously have two players, so you could have two. Uh, the games came on cartridges, uh, which could hold up to 32 kilobytes, which I suppose it, around 82, 83 was the average computer size, especially with the Spectrum that came out in 82, didn't it, which was 48k. So, um, and it had a general instruments ay 3 a 912 sound chip in it the there's about what i could see about 28 official games that came out for it but there's a massive massive homebrew um population out there with over 50 titles and growing it's huge i couldn't believe how many things are being made and even up to like recently so that's really good it keeps the system alive uh, the original price was $199, which is about £145 in British money. Um, but if you were to convert that into today's money, it was about £399, £397 to buy. So, again, roughly the same as um, a, a console that's released today, I would say. Hi, Liz. Hope you're okay. <laughs> you joke, but I was trying to see whether it was, but I'm not sure if it is. I know that was an AY chip, but I don't think it was the same one, but I'm not sure. The, on, on eBay at the moment as well, they, they currently go in bet for between 160 to 250 pounds based on the condition. So again, they're quite a sought after little um, system. So without further ado, let's get playing some games. Now, I am using an emulator. I haven't got the original system. Um, it, the emulator is called Para JVE, and I think it's actually written in Java. It's quite an old emulator, but it seems to work pretty well, so that's good. So, the first game I'll play, I, I have been given a few games to try out from friends who have got these systems or who've had these systems. Uh, the first game is Berserk. Obviously, it didn't do that screen, that's just... Oh. Oh, that doesn't seem... Right, wait a second, let's try it again. That's better. He 
just confirm the volume's not too loud on it, Andy, when it plays the game. So, as you can see, this game is literally a lot. Well, all of the games are vector graphics. <laughs> I suppose that's why it was called the Vector X. The sound in it is really good. I love, I love the arcade sound, arcadey sounds. So it was a black and white screen. One second, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna turn the volume down in my headset because it's deafening me. Let's start again. Try again. Yeah, definitely, Liz. It's definitely. It just reminds me of arcades from that era. Do you know what I mean? The the, the depth, the bass on it as well. The clarity of it's really good. Obviously, this is an emulation as well. I think the screen was better. From what I can tell, you have to run and shoot things and go through the maze. They're, they're robots, I think. I don't know if you're looking for something. I love the two to animation sprite. That face gets you, so you have to try and get away from it. I like the eyes on the robots as well. <laughs> when they're spinning round. That's the wrong way. I'm going to die here. That's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. You can't be. It, it's so, you know what I mean, it's not big graphics, but so addictive, that's what I like about these old games systems. I'm never going to make it, I'm never going to make it. Oh, oh he got me. Got a right dad bod on him. Got you, humanoid. There's actually not that many Vectrex emulators out there. I was quite surprised. I thought with it being an older system, it might have. But there's not that many. This is a, this is quite an old emulator. Well, not that any I could find anyway. <laughs> this would be dead good in VR. Yeah. <laughs> what? In black and white? I think it'd have to be black and white on me though. I loved. I, I think the little stick would have been ace. It had like obviously two button, two button control pad with the little silver stick on it. I don't know if you're actually looking for something to trying to find something or what. Oh, I got died. That's um, Berserk. Quite like that. It's quite. I like the sounds more than anything for that. So let's pick another game. So th this is the game that I think came in it. It came with this game attached, a bit like built in, a bit like um, the Sega Master System came with the game built in. From what I can tell is it's a kind of um, asteroid clone but with mines. Look. Uh. <laughs> I 
love the explosions. Oh, that would be me though. Yeah, the frame rate is smooth. If I if I'd uh, evening ball, maybe okay. If I'd had this as a child, as a kid, I'd have been played on it all, I'd never have been off it. All I had was Firefox, the actual little handheld thing, you know the old grandstand gaming. If I had this I'd have been well pleased. <laughs> Especially with the telly as well, with the, with the the CRT that came with it. Well, it was actually it was made by uh, Milton Bradley MB, the the board game manufacturers. got any of that information in correct you have to I have to apologize I've got it all off the internet so somebody might correct me and say actually it wasn't but from what I can tell it was so. the second level is. Was it a conference call, um, Paul? Was it a Teams meeting? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Now these are safer. Yeah, I said the same one. I bet it. You can actually put effects on to make it like that, but it blurs it. Cause it used to, it used to blur into it with it being so bright, but. nightmares about that music. Did, did you actually have one of these, Paul? Oh. I know my friend used to have one. I never saw it, but he always talked about it. Oh, too fast, it blew me up. Uh, no, I don't think you can, um, Andy. 
Only in um, like uh, it's like a stick a stick person though with two circles. <laughs> came over. So that's uh, Mindstorm, which came with the actual console. It was built in. So I think this is another game that I say there's quite a few games I was asked to look at that are good. This was. It does, it's a lovely, it's a nice system. It's um, there were actually games as well that this is, and I, I don't know how easy this will be to control, but these this came out for it as well. Oh. Okay, so I can seem to have problems with that one. Let's try again. That's better. So it did have um, a few. It did have a few games that were console related. Right. I don't know what the buttons are, so. I think the vector graphics look ace. It is, it's almost like, I don't, it's, like I say, if you'd have got this, you'd have been well pleased. It, it's a shame again though, I don't think it did very well. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, 1982 in America. Yeah, it's like it reminds me of mercenary. <laughs> oh, it's, but it's very hard, <laughs> like pole position is though. That's probably my poor gaming skills. around the edge.
Can you get doomed for this? Um, evening borders, dude. Um, it's in the making, I believe. Not. <laughs> I'm sure somebody somewhere will <laughs> could try and make it. They've made it for every other system known to man. Evening. <laughs> Only Wolfenstein, yeah. <laughs> the objects on screen look tangible. Yeah, they do. Well, yeah, at least it ain't yellow. Did pole position come out for the specky? That's a good question. I don't know if it did or it didn't. Let's try something else. Uh, this is one that Paul recommended. Uh, if I can see it. Well, yeah, you, yeah, they have made it for a calculator, haven't they? I saw that on uh, LGR stream. <laughs> they have Doom really on a... Yeah, they did, yeah. I saw that as well. I I don't know what I was... Am I supposed to get that key? But I can't jump up to the, up that, that hole, obviously. So I have to wait for the... <laughs> for the, st the stairs or the ladder to come down. But it keeps going across. Well, I don't know why he opens his legs when he jumps. <laughs> that could be quite dangerous. Come on, Mr. Laddie. Oh, I control that, do I? There's a kick. Oh, go up. Oh. Okay. How did you know about this, Paul? If you uh, did, you play it at a friend's or something. I <laughs> love the speech. Oh. <laughs> love it. Is that what you like about it, this the speech? Oh. Lots loads of videos on the system. Is it one you're gonna get then? For your collection? Oh, press the wrong button. I can Let's try and... <laughs> what was that game? Oh, I'm sure. Oh, bop it. That's what I'm thinking of. It sounds like that. <laughs> Pull it. Shoot it. Twist it. Oh, again, wrong button. Oh. Oh. Uh, a mind se uh, border dude said, a mind second times ran had this system, Paul, but as usual, overpriced it and even back in the early 2000s. So I gather you had it after it was um, came out originally. Was it like a retro collection you had? What is your what is your chosen system? What is your favourite retro system? Obviously, I know Paul's is the Spectrum. Ah, 
Ah, right, it was the second down shot. <laughs> Yeah, always, uh, oh, they always think they can, the, the retro experts said they can price stuff at that price, like expensive prices. It's called cash converters these days, or CEX. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame because now every man in the dog's a retro expert and even when you go to Boots, they just say, oh well, if you look on eBay, anything, you know, I'm not even going to bother because if you want eBay prices, go and sell it on eBay then. But even then, you'll not get what you're looking at because you're looking at buy it now prices and not completed prices. Sega Mega Drive and Saturn. I, I like Saturn. I do like the Saturn. I, I like the Mega Drive as well, but I've always been a Sega person from a games perspective. I think that was because of the arcades. I love the Sega arcades. Oh, you got me. Oh no. Oh, what's that thing? <laughs> they were still trying to flog CRT screens. Do you know, that as it sounds, though, now, nah. again, they're going up in value. The, at one time, you couldn't give them away. Oh. It sounds like a boppy. That's a, not a bad little platformer for its time. So it came out in 82 and it's got that 3D-esque feel about it as well, which is good. Is the shop still there you're talking about or has it disappeared now? Well, I remember when the Saturn first came out, I always remember, I know it wasn't a good game to start with, but um, Daytona and Sega Rally and all them, they were the big things. It's gone now, is it? Yeah, it has got some good games on Saturn. I always thought the Saturn was one of them systems again, that, a bit like the Dreamcast, that was a good system that never really got its glory, its day, and, you know, I mean, it's, it's limelight if you like, even though it was a really good system. It's funny how things can make or break it. You'd have thought it with having, with having Sega behind it, it would have rocketed if you like. I know it sold well, but it's just weird. And then obviously PlayStation came out with Sony, who were unknown in the consoles, and well, they sort of took over again. So I'm just looking at what we've got now. Oh, I don't know, that's a close one, because I, I did like the Dreamcast. I thought the Dreamcast was such an underrated system that it's a shame. I can't believe it didn't didn't do better. Yeah, they're <laughs> Fighting Vipers, Sega Rally and Pebble Beach Golf. Pebble Beach Golf. Sega Rally was good on the, the Saturn, weren't it? It was a time when Sega didn't really know what they were doing and when obviously 32X came out and it just sort of lost its way a bit because it got two people fighting in different corners. I don't know what this is but we'll have a look. It's called Space Wars. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> don't actually know what's going on. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm there. I'm literally like a little enterprise, or was, till I got the wing blown off. Oh, so you have to destroy the other person. Oh, ah. Uh. So it's obviously a one verse one. It's very much uh, control. All, well, that game control something. Um, oh. There's a PC game very much like this, where your little ships come out of you, and I can't remember the name of it uh, for the. So you've got a couple of rarer games for the Dreamcast, Marvelous Capcom 2 and Project Justice. I bet, is Marvel vs Capcom 2 any good? Is it, because again, I think it was. Huh? You have the Japanese grey one, Andy. reading the text and not reading what I should not following the game. Just the saucer section left. <laughs> What's fire? Have I lost my bullet? Rabbit speed. <laughs> Perhaps today is a good day to die. Yeah, it's not too bad that, but... So Marvel vs Capcom 2 is good, but it came out on other platforms which can get it much cheaper. Yeah, it, it's weird that. It, but that happens as well with um, different r regional games, because there's some games in America that go for a ton of money, yet yeah, over here they go for nothing, yet yeah, vice versa as well. It's ever so weird that. I suppose it's the number they released in that region. We've also got one in the garage with a broken circuit board. Might turn it into a lamp. Or you could just mend the circuit board. Project Justice to Arrival Schools 2, I don't think they have ported to it. Can you get any emulators for it then? Like, can, I, I get it, I'm very limited knowledge of the Saturn. I know you could get, was it a 10 megabyte RAM expansion you could put in? Do, do, can you get like, does it play like backup games or does it have to be flashed or have a chip put in or can you get something to do that? Like a flash cart? This is not going to work because it's got to be like that. Let's try again. That's better. Star Trek the game. Ready, Captain. Next sector one. Oh, 3D. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> well, I'm shocking at this. Why? What's that? There's something for the Saturn now. They use the VCD expansion port to hack it, but I'm not sure what it is. Is that the the port at the back, the long memory port, or is that a different port? Uh, Klingons, Klingons, with the big head mode. <laughs> Why 
Why? What's going on? Why can't I shoot anybody? I must kind of not shoot anybody. Oh, you can't shoot people, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, that, 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 you know, in the, in the program Picard, that really annoyed me, that spoiled the whole program. Not Picard, not, not Picard or Riker on the bridge, but the fact that there was a billion ships of the same thing, that, um, they just couldn't be bothered to do anything else, so they just CGI'd a million ships. There weren't even that many ships when they were fighting Borg. So, it just spoiled it that bit, did. I know it's not real, but I don't know. It just annoyed me. And if I have to go through that, is it like a war power? Oh, so I can dodge him. No, oh, not that quick. Again, if if you got this in '92, you'd be well impressed. At uh, '82, not '92. If you got it in '92, I don't think you'd be that impressed. Oh, you can shoot them as well. It's just like oh. Oh. Love the explosions with the bits. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Torpedo, obviously. It's not too bad, Star Trek. Going to Borg Bar and Barbat. Be right back, no worries. Is it. How big is the ramp pack? Is it, I, I'm sure it was. It, is it a meg or 10 meg or something like that? Because that, that is quite rare now, isn't it, the ramp pack? That's probably rare as well on the Saturday. I, I don't know how many games actually came out for it. And, uh, are, you, are you going for like a full set or do you just go for certain ones? Four megabyte. Oh, so it was... Four megabyte, yeah. It's crazy when you think nowadays. What was the actual total of Saturn and what was the um before that was it two megabyte? Or one or did that This is a PD game, this isn't the original, but it's still funny. Right, so you need a little for a lot of 2D fighters. I don't actually. I don't think there's any point. There's no get no point to anything. It's just a PD game. But yeah. I think it, it, it's one of the very first probably um, run games to see how far you can get, but without a score. But this game was actually made in 1998, so it was like how it took what what 15, 16 years after it was out. 
I, I love it when they do stuff like that. I think it keeps um, the spirit alive of the system. One or two think it has more around the PS1. I didn't know that. Horace, yeah, Horace goes skiing. <laughs> Educational feed about the Saturn while playing Vectrex. <laughs> Yeah, we just have a we just have a laugh on here with the banter. There's no, it's not polished by any means. <laughs> what you see is what you get. Hi Paul, you got your, you got your lager or your beer. Tara Link's had a big home brew, did you? I didn't know that. Um. I don't know. There's one called Spinball, but I don't know if that's a pinball or not, but I shall have a look. Me and John were playing with our rats earlier. Is that a euphemism for something, or have you actually got some rats? Oh. Oh, it looks like we've got a pinball now. I just need to find out what buttons are. Let's pause. <laughs> That's quite funny that the <laughs> the right trigger is left button and the the left one is the right button. <laughs> That's good. Is that to make it a bit harder? <laughs> £10 rats, Paul knows me too well. New game's still coming out, Phil Inks, is it? I need to turn my pad upside down because otherwise I'm going to get right confused. <laughs> okay, where's the ball gone? Yeah, sixty. I um, I look on the homebrew scene channels, and there is there's there's um, there's quite a lot of stuff coming out. Why is that not finished? Oh. For all systems, actually, for a lot of systems, it seems to be having a bit of a revival. Collision detection, bless it. The wife's watching the Baywatch movie. What? Obviously for the scintillating storyline or for the man bods. I gather it in the hoff in it, is it? Because it must be about 70. Okay, bud, uh, dudes, I think your name was John. Thank you for coming by and watching anyway, and thank you for uh, inputting into the stream. It's really helped, really good. If you just say, if you want to come back, you're welcome at any time. A few new C64 games I want, but wouldn't buy wouldn't buy but at the same time refuse to pirate what's pirate I, don't I wouldn't know what that is uh, Paul sorry I had an Amiga I, everything was originals that's funny that isn't it Liz it makes you want a pinball machine Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you very much.
What, for, for a, a 64 title? They weren't that much when they, they weren't that much a few years ago. But they were 199, weren't they, them days, um, Paul? See one on eBay, 350. Oh, a different one to the Pac-Man one, then. Is this one a different one? Please. Yeah, I saw that, John. Um, uh, uh, do you know if it's if it's big enough, I would be really tempted because I could imagine you'd be able to f do something with them and put a lot of the VPX t tables on. But if they're small like the arcade cabs, I don't know how I'd fit. But then again, if it's small, I suppose you can fit it in easier. But I think it's a good idea. I I I like the look of the Outrun one and the Star Wars one, but they're very small. That's any problem. He'll never know, Liz. I'll not tell him. I'm sure Paul and John and myself will keep the secret. If he asks, we know nothing. This is another PD game. Let's see what this one's like. The Star Wars clone demo. seem to be any sound but I suppose it's because it's PD. I wonder what I wonder what um they're written in them but it's just machine code. Makes you wonder how they wrote it. It must have been written on another computer obviously because they didn't have a keyboard. <laughs> no risk of a tilt. You can't believe this is PD. Oh, but I suppose they put sound in it to a later date. Oh. Did a little great shot, Luke. One in a million. I'll add the sound effects in. Did a little, 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 little. Or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well said, um, Paul. At least you can get some fun out of a pinball table. What does the Terminator do apart from skate today? He turned his red eyes on the other night when we were playing the dual play thing. <laughs> Quite off putting. The two red eyes staring at you. I don't think I've got any score or lives. Oh, I have. As I say that, the game over sign <laughs> flashes past. There was a game I play. I'm always looking for it. And I can't. There 
parameters. Oh, I remember it now because it's. This reminds me of like a bit of a 3D version of Sega's Turbo, the, the early Sega Turbo. Oh, we've got more than oh, two gears. Oh, it's a bit, a bit um. Loose on the, the steering. I don't know if this did it actually have a steering wheel attachment that came out for it later. <laughs> no comment, Paul. Even tunnels. Oh, I didn't steer. Oh, it's a bit difficult though. I like how it, it, it's pretty good at shifting them, shifting the, the polygons, isn't it? The vectors. He, he's probably gone to tie Liz up because she's tried to buy a £300 pinball table. Shocking at this. <sighs> I love the deep bass of the engine. I love games with deep bass. <laughs> We are ordering food. What are we having tonight? Is it Chinese, Indian, English, pizza, kebab? Oh, it's very difficult. Good game, but so difficult. Oh. <laughs> you have pizza. Is it, is it like Meals on Wheels? You're having India. If you're having India, that means um, that um, Andy's having something different. I bet he's having Golden Grill. <sighs> I don't think you ever die on this game. Alright John, thank you for joining, thank you for watching. Thank you for your input as well, been really interesting. Enjoy your film and have a great night. Uh, I knew we'd be having something different. He's having a kebab. A kebab. What Indian you having? What, what's um, the um, choice you're having chicken tikka, a boona. I 
sarg I, I like um, chicken sarg you can get a really nice uh, Slimming World one from Iceland and that's the first time I had it and it, it is a nice it's a nice curry I, I'm not a big super spicy curry fan I don't like red hot stuff but I do like something you can just warm as the cockles but doesn't burn your face off you just put a meat sarg is that like a um, surprise choice they'll pick whatever meat you're gonna get <laughs> that sounds like an interesting game yeah I've got so do you know I like your Aldi ones I like them as better some of them better than um, the Iceland ones Don't say that, not when um, Dell's listening. You'll upset him. Okay, it's a first um, failure of the night. Dark, oh, it's a prototype. You haven't, you cannibal. I'm shocked, Liz. I really am shocked. Yeah, it, it, it is. I, I like the stuff from Aldi. I've never had an issue with it. In France, how could you? Oh, what's that? <laughs> okay, he's... <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. On the 11th, whatever it is. Oh! Where's the rest of the, the bike riders? I like the hill effects, so that's quite good. It does actually look like you are going, it does actually look like there is a hill. Oh, how come they're going past me? Oh. Um. We have a pork shoulder joint for dinner tomorrow. Cost one pound and six. Oh, well, that's just disgusting. We had um, a cake for twenty p from Morrison's <laughs> that was on offer. Aldi used to have a beer. Do a beer up here called Henry's was made by Carlin and was £2.50 for four cans. Epic stuff. That's me £20 lighter. Happy Valentine's Day, Liz. Oh, of course, you, you're not married, so you still do Valentine's Day. That'll all end soon. <laughs> me and Debbie don't do it. I buy her roses every other day of the year, apart from Valentine's Day. That's my excuse, anyway. I don't know what that his hands are. Why is he whacking people? Do I have to pedal faster?
<laughs> yeah, it's Road Rash before Road Rash came out. There's some weird arm movements. I don't know if you're supposed to do something to make it... <laughs> yeah, that was a good game, but um mm. Well, that's all the um, the Vectrex ones for tonight but before I go I'm just going to put one last thing on just for Liz so this is really Vectrex but I think Liz might like it huh <laughs> Oops. If it works, I have not played these for ages. I don't know where it is actually, if I've still got it. Oh, there it is. The steak I want to eyeball in the... <laughs> yeah, we'll not talk about what's being said in the chat because it's very rude. Anybody think you were teenagers? Goodness sake. Second, see if I can. Oh. Why is that? Oh, I know why. Just see if it, I could. Make it full screen. Wait a second. I'm not going to be able to make it full screen, but I, can, I just need to get this off my screen because I'm having. That's it, right. Because I've not planned to do this, but. I'll show it you in a small screen in the top corner, but you should be able to get the gist of it. Is it moving? Ahead. 
Is the actual screen moving on yours? This is what happens when you do stuff that isn't planned. Hmm. Interesting Dr. Bond. Oh well, I can't show you then. Sorry Liz, I was going to show you it here, but it uh, doesn't seem to be working right. time we'll give it up as a bad job and then try it a different time Painted over the original artwork on the machine, so it would be interesting to see the original artwork as he wants to restore it. On the actual playfield, or. Side, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing on it. Oh. Yeah, because it, it's the it's the ROM, literally is the ROM, Andy. This program, it's like MAME. You do the, you put it for, for um, pinball tables. So they, they make the table and then just use the ROM with the original sounds on. I'm just not very good at it. Does my head about pinballs? <laughs> oh, straight down the middle every time. Oh. 
What skill shot, I wonder? Oh, come on! What is the matter with me? I'll have one more go. I'm shocking at this. Something weird's happened. I think it's because my computer reset. It's screen. I think I've got an issue with my graphics card. I've got to take the third thing out um, over there. So, but yeah, it's got some good games on it. It's got it's got about 400. This is off of a uh, coin ops, and it's got 400 tables on. Okay, if it works, okay. It's because I'm going to take the it, it, the thing out. It's tough in real life too. <laughs> Anybody who's come to watch expected uh, Vectrex, and we've done those unfortunately. <laughs> I'll have to set this up properly so it plays it right, and because um, obviously it's not set up to do any of this. So, a minute. I'm from the future. I came here in a time machine. Now I need your help to get back to the year 1985. Oh, come on. This this is the stuff they use on them um, pin, digital pinball tables where you can buy real pinballs. I think you comment on me. But eating peanuts for it this time of night. Come on. That's the only problem. With it being realistic, it is rock hard. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. I came here in a time machine. Now I need your help to get back to the year 1985. Whoa, this is heavy. I'm shocked at this. It's amazing how different a real pinball feel is to a, a game one, an arcade, like a computer game one. They've done a really good job of making it feel more realistic. Which is not good for me when I'm rubbish, anyway. Keep going, keep going. 
I need this, you need this in your life, Andy. What, the real one? <laughs> you know, you, you'll go out and buy the real one. Just as I thought, this proves my theory. Well, look at what we have here. I'm doing better than last time. Oh, every time it goes down the middle. DeLorean, what, a million pounds? Not fair, that's cheating. I think I'm dead now. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. Your future is whatever you make it, so make it a good one. Right guys, well, I just like to say thank you to everybody who watched, I thank you and all those people, um, Andy I stream man, Liz, um, Paul and um, Duck Borders dude, John I think his name was and anybody else who's watched. Um, next Saturday I'm trying something different, so I stream man who's on the stream and his good lady fiance Liz will be challenging me to some games. So we're going to uh, do a bit of a, a test fight stream, uh, play some two and three player games and see how it goes. So thank you for joining everybody. If you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe and comment. And I will see you all probably on Wednesday with a, I might do a stream on Wednesday. I know you'll win Liz. Not if I unplug your joystick remotely though. Oh, did I say that out loud? Bye all.